Happy Easter, friends! Welcome to chapel. I hope that you and your family are happy and healthy. Friends, two months ago, when we had chapel time here, I told you that we were going to have Easter egg hunt here inside the chapel. But we are not going to be able to do in-person egg hunt because everyone has to stay home. It is not easy to stay home at all time. There are some Easter eggs hidden somewhere in this church. You know what? We are still going to do egg hunt together. Friends, the way we're going to do egg hunt is I'm going to take my camera with me and we're going to go to the front side of the church and we're going to find eggs together. We're, we're going to do that in a few minutes. Before we do Easter egg hunt, we are going to sing, He's got the whole world in his hands. Remember that song? We're going to sing that song, and then I'm going to tell you Easter story, and pray with you, and we'll do Easter egg hunt together. Before we sing, friends, why don't you repeat after me? Mom and dad and siblings can join us. He's got the whole world in his hands. Can you do it uh, louder and faster? All right, one more. He's got the whole world in his hands. All right, friends, we are going to sing that line four times. Are you ready to sing? One, two, three. He's got the whole world in his hands. 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 Good job. That song reminds us God loves you and God loves me. Friends, let me tell you a very interesting story. Many, many years ago, to over 2,000 years ago, Jesus died on a cross like this. And Jesus died because he loved us so much that he died for us. We all have made mistakes. No one is perfect. But because Jesus loved us and he died for us by trusting in Jesus, we can be with Jesus forever in heaven. That is good news for all of us. When Jesus died, it was Friday, and his body was laid in a tomb. And a tomb is where the bodies of dead people were kept. And the tomb that Jesus was in was sealed with a big stone. Can you see a big stone here? Yeah. And Jesus' parents, his disciples, his students, and his friends were very, very sad because they missed him so much. But three days later, something strange happened. The tomb where the body of Jesus was laid was empty and the big stone was rolled away. What happened? What happened was that God raised Jesus from the dead early on Easter morning. Jesus came back to life. He came back alive and he went and see his friends. And I have a picture of it. Do you see Jesus here and his friends? They were so happy. And today, friends, we celebrate Easter because Jesus is alive. And there are many things that remind us of Easter. There are flowers and chocolate Easter bunnies. If you go to stores, you'll see them. Or pretty Easter baskets. And one common thing that all of us think of when we think of Easter is Easter eggs. An egg means new life. An egg reminds us 
that there is a new life inside that can come out. All right, what is inside this egg? Oh, do you see this little chick? Yeah. This egg reminds us that there is a new life inside that can come out. The tomb of Jesus was empty because Jesus came out of the grave and he was alive. And friends, today Jesus is alive. We cannot see him, but he is with us and he has given us new life. And new life means Jesus lives in our heart and he is with you, with mom and dad and grandparents, and he is with all of us. So friends, Easter is a happy day. It means it makes us joyful. Jesus loves you and Jesus loves me. That is a great story. Friends, why don't we pray together? The prayer that we used to pray um, during preschool uh, time, um, God our Father, God our Father. Remember that prayer? Let's pray together. God our Father, God our Father, once again, once again, thank you for our blessing, thank you for our blessing, Amen, Amen, Amen. Are you ready to do Easter egg hunt? Let's go and find eggs. Right. I don't see any egg. Maybe they are hidden somewhere in the back. Let's go find them. Do you see any? I don't see any. Where are they? Oh, do you see Easter eggs? Look at them. They're so pretty. What's your favorite color? Maybe pink? Maybe blue? Yeah, they're pretty. Friends, I hope that you are happy and healthy. May God bless you and may God be with you. Bye-bye.